Tonight the Cleveland Guardians and the Chicago White Sox play in game three of this weekend four game series. Sox having won the first two ball games. The White Sox take the field and Mike Clevenger takes the mound. Well, he's looking for a redeemer after last time out where he didn't have his command and he was getting behind hitters, couldn't put him away. So hopefully all of that will combine to give him a pretty good outing here tonight. Esteban Florial leads it off. Got him looking. Strike three to start the ball game. Ground ball to Nicky Lopez at second base. And there's two quick outs. In his career, Jose Ramirez now 34 homers and 102 yeah. runs driven in against Chicago. Off the end of the bat. Down to shallow left field, fighting the sun has been intendy, and he comes on to make the catch. Tristan McKenzie will make the start, his eighth start tonight. He's always pitched well his last five times against these uh, White Sox. He beat him once earlier in the year. And ball four inside. That's what Pedro loves about Tommy Pham. He's got a great command of the strike zone. There goes Tommy Pham from first, and the ball gets away. Tommy Pham's jump was so good, Bo Naylor knew he had to be quick and didn't squeeze it. 3-0 from McKenzie, and pitch timer, and that's ball four, so a pitch clock violation on McKenzie, and the first two are on for the White Sox. Strike three call. Top of the zone, got him looking at a slider. I don't know that Vaughn's convinced. Double play ball, perhaps. There's one. Jimenez can't get anything on the throw. And now the White Sox have runners at the corners with two down. Strike three called. I'll tell you what, folks. I don't think any of us thought this would be a nothing-nothing game. Now Paul DeYoung, six home runs to lead the club, swings at the first pitch, chops one off the glove of McKenzie, and it'll be an infield hit. Jimenez tried to barehand it and could not. That's the first hit of the ball game. An infield single by DeYoung. With one down, Nicky Lopez steps in. And he swings at the first pitch down the right field line. It's a fair ball. DeYoung, they're waving him in after Brennan misplays it in right. He will score. And it's an RBI triple for Nicky Lopez. And Will Brennan, I think if he fields that cleanly, there's no guarantee DeYoung scores. And Maldonado gets it past the diving shortstop. An RBI single as Lopez scores. White Sox take a 2-0 lead in the second. Gavin Sheets first ball swinging. He pops it up again on the right side of the infield. Now on the grass, the second baseman Jimenez makes the catch to end the inning. Swing and a liner to left. Down the line it's going and it drops fair. Cut off by Benintendi. Manzardo hustling to second in with a feet first slide. And Kyle Manzardo's first extra base hit in the big leagues. On his way to third is Manzardo. He'll go in without a throw. The ball was in the dirt. And Martin Maldonado couldn't find the handle on it. Got him swinging with the fastball. Fourth strikeout in the ballgame. Swing and a miss, strike three. Five Ks for Clevenger. We knew over this past week Andrew Vaughn had been hitting the ball harder. And what a good sign to see him hit his first home run of the season last night. And swinging at the first pitch, will single this one into center. Inside, ball four. So the first two are on for the White Sox in this bottom of third. Loriano, the center fielder, makes the catch. The runners have to hold one down. And he swings and foul tips it into Bo Naylor's glove. We'll go to the fourth. Two down for Josh Naylor, who grounded out his first time up. Going the other go. way. There it's deep. Go. Benintendi's back. He's out of room. It's out of here. Run Josh Naylor to the opposite field and the Guardians are on the board as Naylor continues to do damage here in Chicago. There you go. Spanks it into right field. He continues his hot hitting ways. He came in batting over 300 in his last 17 games. That one was hit hard. Backhanded by Ramos at third to throw across. Clevenger gets through the fourth. A homer by Naylor makes it 2 1 Sox. We start this fifth inning. The White Sox with a 2 to 1 lead. Mike Clevenger has only given up three hits. This one out to deep right field. Sheets will track it down at the warning track. And there's two outs. Broke his bat. And will drop for a hit. And now with all the lefties coming up in the order, here comes Pedro. Well, he's signaling now, so it's. Not even going to ask him the question, how you feeling? As he walks out, we'll step out. Tim Hill on for the 15th time. 
ERA below three. Stephen Vogt is going to pinch hit Fry for Floreal. He blows it by him. Nice job by Tim Hill. Tristan McKenzie back to work, bottom of the fifth inning, with the Guardians trailing two to one. Here's the pitch to Aloy Jimenez, and he grounds it to third. Scooped out by Ramirez, fires across the diamond in time. Three up, three down go the Sox. Sixth inning, Tim Hill will face Jimenez, and he'll have to face Ramirez as a result. Ground ball the other way. Ramos has done a great job defensively. I mean, we talk about what he's done at the plate, but he's looked very comfortable at the hot corner. That one is crushed out to left. Benintendi chasing it down and makes the catch. Here's DeYoung on the move. And a nice job by Tim Hill. Jared Schuster comes on for the fifth time, and he's been very good out of the pen. He inherits a one-run lead. And he did go around. So Schuster gets the strikeout of Brennan to start the seventh. This is the younger brother, Bo, on the move. Nicky Lopez doing what he does. Good solid throw on the move and threw a strike to first base to get out of the inning. Tristan McKenzie back out here for the seventh inning. Tell you what, McKenzie's been phenomenal tonight. Got him looking. Fifth strikeout for Tristan. We'll go to the bullpen with two outs here in the seventh after he retired 14 consecutive batters. What a way to finish. Cade Smith was out for the 19th time. We saw him in the opener of this series. He pitched an inning in the third. Josh Taylor will take it himself and will go to the eighth with the Guardians down one. So Jared Schuster after pitching a one two three seventh inning comes back out for the eighth. Big pitch the strikeout as Maldonado will throw down to complete it one down. Long throw to Ramos. Yes, he did. And what a stretch at first by Vaughn. Ramos knows to use the ground and get the accuracy as close as he can. Another big backhand stop and long throw. And like you said, a great finish at the other end by Vaughn. And here in the bottom of the eighth inning, Scott Barlow on to pitch for the Guardians. And this one set the other way, a single in the right field to start this bottom of the eighth. The White Sox would love to add some insurance here in the eighth. To well hit hard to center field, going back at the track, and it's off the wall. Vaughn is going to be held at third, so a double for Eloy Jimenez, and there's nobody out. Well, infield in, Benintendi swinging at the first pitch, out to left. Vaughn is tagging at third. He's coming home. Here's the throw. Safe. Vaughn beats the throw in, and the White Sox take a 3-1 lead here in the eighth. Swing and a miss, he strikes him out. But the White Sox get a huge insurance run. Ninth inning, White Sox have a 3-1 lead. Rebia has two major league saves, both coming in 2018 with the St. Louis Cardinals. Pretty strong part of the order. Ramirez, Naylor, Brennan. And on the hands, the flare out to left. And DeYoung with the range will get there. One down. Sticks out the bat to Ramos. Gathers himself to throw. And he got him. The White Sox are one out away from their longest win streak of the season. It hasn't been the best start of the season, but they're on a roll. And now it's four in a row for the first time this season. You know what time it is. Say it with me. Southside, stand up. Final score, Sox three. Guardians won. They'll go for the sweep tomorrow.